Hey, what's up everyone? Now that you have Sparrow Wallet downloaded, let's get into how it works and some of the fundamentals in order to get started. So the most important thing to know about is UTXOs and what they are. They may sound a little bit complicated, but it's actually pretty simple. So think of UTXOs as bunches of Bitcoin. Sats cannot be sent out one by one. The smallest amount of sats that you can send is around 500. So these sats are stored into groups of other sats and it goes from numbered orders for so from the first sat created to the last sat created. Uh, so if you look at block related sats, all the block related, let's say block 78s are back to back to each other and they're going to be one UTXO. So, so it's easy to do transactions with. So that's basically the general info about UTXOs. Um, and now let's get into actually sending them out and doing it safely where you don't lose sats uh, during the transaction and spend them in fees. Okay, now let's open up Sparrow. So now that you have your wallet downloaded, you have some sats. So in this wallet, we have some pizza sats, some block 78 sats. What you need to do first um, is actually send some Bitcoin to your change address. So I'm going to explain why you need to do that later, but first do that step. So let's just first confirm that we actually have these pizza sats in this wallet. So you can copy the address and then you can go onto a website called satting.io. So you just input the wallet and then it's going to search all your sats and you scroll down and there you go. We actually have our pizza sats right there. So now we can go back and I want to do a chess transaction and send these 350 pizza sats to another wallet without spending any of them in fees. So let's get into that. And I do not want to use or spend these block 78s. So let's visit over to the UTXO tab. So remember what I said earlier, these are bunches of Bitcoin put together. So we have one UTXO that just with change. Uh, and then we have two UTXOs um, with different sats. So for me, I just want to send over my pizza sats. You can see from the label uh, pizza sats over here. So you can actually right click the UTXOs that you do not want to send. So I do not want to send block 78s. So you just right click and click on freeze UTXO. And now it won't be sent or be moved at all. So you're safe with that. And now that you have your change wallet, this is why it's important. So you actually spend fees on the change wallet and not your pizza sats. So what you want to do is press control and click on the change wallet and the pizza sats. And you can see here, this is 100,350. So these two UTXOs. So we click on send UTXO. And now I want to go back to my addresses and I want to send it to this wallet. So copy address, go back and I'll paste it there. And then we can just say, uh, label it as one. You can just label it as pizza sets or whatever you want. So right now it looks pretty complicated. What is happening? And we see this little chart over here. So right now the top is what the most important thing is. So. Right now, we actually have it set to sending 998,000 sats. So we can actually see here that it's from that, that change wallet that we have, but we only want to send 350. So if we actually type 350, now you can actually see that it changed. So the top one says uh, the pizza sats, and you can notice that you see this little circle here, that means is a few amount of sats and you see a lot of sats here. So we want to see the pizza sats on the top on the left side of the transaction. And then we want to see uh, the sats being sent out on the top also on the right side. So we see 350 sats being sent to that address in the middle is going to be the leftover um, amount and the transaction is going to be sent to another wallet one of your change wallets and then your fees. So the change wallet is going to pay for the fees. So right now, this is basically how the transaction is set up. You can manage how many 
sat rate you want to send for fees. So let me just raise it up a little bit and set it up to, let's say, uh, 10. So now we can say create transaction, but be careful. Sometimes it moves around. So you see that now it says the change wallet move to the top. Um, now it's actually going to send out um, the change wallet sats and then use the pizza sats for fees. And we do not want that. So remember, we always want the little circle to be on the top. So two little circles on the top and then the big circles with the change wallets to be on the bottom. So we can actually just go back here and we can just retype it. Um, and we'll just retype it until we hit uh, 350. So this process can be a little painstaking. Um, it just randomly uh, puts sats in different orders. So let's put it to the right area. Okay, so it took actually a few tries there. You can see how much of a pain it is to do it, but now we are back to the right thing. So now this transaction is good. We click on create transaction. And now we ran into another problem. So when you click on create transaction, they randomize the order. So you see that this big circle is being sent out. We do not want that. So we want the little circles on top. Remember what we said earlier? So we actually, you see the little circle, the, the pizza stats are actually going to the fees and the change wall is actually gonna be sent out. So we wanna click on this little X and then click create transaction. And then boom, we got the correct one. So little circle on top, little circle on top, and this is a correct transaction. Um, sometimes you have to do this a few times like you saw earlier. And then when you can, you can actually add more transactions to this one uh, and then it's gonna be even harder. So this is like the main risks of sending out sats. Um, if you don't pay attention to um, the flow, then you can uh, accidentally spend your sats and your fees. And this is how people lose their money. So you wanna make sure that the change wallet is being uh, spent on fees and then the rest is gonna be sent out to your change wallet address. So we can actually just click on finalize transaction for signing, click sign, and then broadcast. And then now it's on confirmed. And then you can actually uh, copy this transaction ID. You go to um, mempool, you paste it in. And you can see that uh, here is your transaction. You could wait for it to confirm. Okay, our transaction just confirmed over here. And now we can actually go back to Sparrow copy our wallet address and let's see if we did it correctly. So now we can go back to the satting wallet. We search it up and now we can actually see the pizza sats are here. If you actually pause and do the math um, with these two ranges, it will come up to 350 pizza sats. So now we actually did our successful uh, transaction um, and we are now good for receiving and sending sats uh, there's more things that we can do with Sparrow and that's going to be for separate videos later on. So thank you for watching.